Growing old, it's one of the inevitabilities of human existence. Or is it? There's one question on everybody's lips. Is it possible to live forever? From fad diets to going under the knife, the pursuit of eternal youth is as old as time itself. And modern science has brought it little closer. Exercising the mind and body is a great way to fight ageing, but despite our best efforts, some of us age much faster than others in various and unpredictable ways. Other people go on to live healthy lives well into their 90s, even beyond. And it's that fact that's given scientists the confidence to see ageing rather than inevitability as a set of biological processes that can be slowed, stopped or even reversed. So who is going to hack ageing as we know it? There's really only one place to look. Few things better embody the pursuit of eternal youth than Californian beach culture. But what is it about the West Coast that's attracted a boom in anti-ageing research? Well, some scientists believe the roots of ageing are all in our genetic code. Essentially a software problem. And who better to fix that than Silicon Valley? No serious scientist is pursuing immortality, but what is in our grasp are drugs to target some of the key drivers of ageing, like how our muscles or brain cells wear out over time. Rather than peering into petri dishes or looking at lab animals, this biotech company is taking a very different approach to trying to find human-specific drivers of ageing. And they're doing that by using computer power to sift through vast databases of biological samples to try and find common factors among people who live very long, healthy lives compared to those who die much younger. And they're already finding some promising targets. So personally, I don't think there's any one silver bullet for aging, any one pill or gene you can hit that will you know, rewind the clock 20 years. I do believe, though, that there are a couple dozen targets and pathways that we can hit that together can have a really dramatic effect on lifespan and health span. Is aging the latest example of Silicon Valley hype? Some dismiss the new interest in the field as a bid by the privileged to pursue immortality. But it could live up to another promise, providing millions worldwide the prospect of lives that don't end with a decade or more of chronic illness. And spare society the soaring costs of caring for an ever-growing ageing population.